as promised, we're going to be taking a look at AK Interactive's Muddy Ground. Don't go away. Hello YouTubers, it's Paul from Fat Guy Productions coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And today we're back at the modeling table and we're going to be doing something I promised that I'd be doing. We're going to be taking a look at AK Interactive's Terrain's Muddy Ground. Okay? I've never used this product, I've never even opened this jar, so we're going to do that together. What are we using it on? Well, we're going to use it on... A really good candidate I think Mobius models death dealer okay this is his horse and the ground is full of rocks and skulls and uh, you know just I envision it as being um, just putrefied death down there uh, I, I really imagine it being just horrible and gross and so we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply muddy ground there to try and get it to look wet and putrid. Uh, we're gonna, we've got the skulls down in here already painted in and uh, we've applied some oil washes to them to give them a, an old look. And we've dry brushed some of the rocks that we're going to leave exposed. And we're going to have this up around his feet and there's going to be some blood down there and just all sorts of really good stuff. And uh, we're going to see how... Uh, muddy ground works okay so let's get right to it okay so to really get the look I'm after I'm also going to use some of this uh, seagrass uh, I think it's from AK actually but uh, I'd have to verify that now I'll, I'll put a, a note down here on the bottom to let you know exactly where this seagrass is from and uh, I'm gonna blot in a bunch of it right in with the muddy ground to give it a little more texture and uh, I might take some clumps of it and uh, you know have it in there like it's growing up through through the mud and you know whatever I can do here Right now I'm just shaving some of this off. You see it's making a mess, but I'm going to scoop it all into the cup here when I'm done. All right. Let's get this any of this okay so let's get the death dealer horse in here and let's here let's actually start by taking a look at this here this is AK's AK terrains muddy ground it's an acrylic uh, material uh, from their diorama series Muddy Ground is a perfect product for recreating heavy, thick, muddy surfaces rich in texture. Allow 24 hours to completely dry. Prior to drying, wheel track marks or whatever you wish can be pressed into the surface. It's high quality acrylic product developed for extreme realism. Okay, well, first let's get a paper towel down here because I don't want to have muddy ground all over my workbench. I hope you guys can see this. I might actually move your angle here a little bit um, before I start applying this here. So let's go ahead and open it up first. All right. Okay, here we go. Muddy ground. Wow, stick, and it does 
look like fresh, wet mud. It's gritty. And it's the right color. It should be fun. All right. So let me get a, a brush here. Uh, maybe a bigger brush. I don't know. I'm just going to use these throwaway brushes. Let's see here. And maybe make sure I have some toothpicks nearby. All right. Okay. I'm going to change the camera angle a little bit so you guys can see this a little bit better. Hang on a second. Okay, I think that's going to work for you guys, right? All right, let's 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 start applying muddy ground. Um, I'm going to use this bigger brush. I don't care about these. These are generic. All right. Let's, uh, these are... Uh, or that's not gonna work. All right, I was hoping you could see that, but these are um, from Hobby Lobby. Try and uh, keep this from moving here. And uh, now I could have made this a little easier on myself and not put the horse on yet. But I put the horse on specifically because I wanted him to look like he was entrenched in this muddy ground so i could have not put him on there i opted not to do that okay so so far so good let's get that out of the way here a little bit and uh, see, with the, the horse on here, I don't even care if I get it on his feet. Um, because he's been traipsing through this muddy ground. Okay, so let's get some sawgrass in here. That worked good. Yeah, that worked real nice. It's a nice gross effect. Just a little finite detail that you can really get your teeth into. So let's get up in here. Okay, I gotta get back to holding him so he doesn't move a whole lot on you. Yeah. in here soon. some of this stuff in here, especially up in between his feet. Uh, sorry, phone ring. And I'm using my phone for a reason here. Um, I can get this nice overhead view for you. So, 
Look at this. This is looking pretty choice, if you ask me. Oh, I just went over that rock. Stupid. More grass. Pretty nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put this big brush down here for a second. I'm going to use this little brush to get all up in here between his feet. See, there's a rock. I'll work around. Okay. Sorry, I keep bumping the phone. I've got it really, really low here into my work area so you guys can get the best possible view here. See, I make sacrifices for my followers. And let's see. Okay, so that's gonna call for the smaller brush. Okay, so I can get some up in here. Once I get some running blood in here, maybe a little more sawgrass. This is going to have just such a great putrid look to it. So far, so good. But you know, honestly, here let's let's talk about this. When are we going to know if this product is any good? Apparently in 24 hours. So this is going to, this video ain't getting finished today, clearly, because we're going to have to see what I get in 24 hours. There we go, I like that I'm all up on his leg like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kinda... So it's not gonna really kind of tell its full story till tomorrow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this all for you. Cause it's going pretty quick. It's looking pretty good. And then we'll go ahead and uh, Turn off the cameras and come back tomorrow. Look at it. Okay, so let's see how it looks back here. Okay, I gotta get back up in around the feet. Okay. Again. Let's see what we got. Okay, now 
I got some areas I want to put in with a toothpick. So, like, I want to get some on a toothpick here. And I want to run some up between those bones and a little bit up here. Between the fingers. And, uh, boy, that's looking pretty cool. That's hopefully going to give me the results I'm looking for. And I think I really absolutely need to bust out more sawgrass. Don't you guys? I think so. So, we're going to do that. There, there's some good seagrass. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of that. Okay. And then let's plot some more muddy ground down to that. Dab a little bit on one of the skulls here to kind of kind of make it look like it's really in there, you know, a little bit. There'll be splatters. Hair. I called it hair. Sorry I keep bumping you. Uh, I've got the phone right down in here. I'm trying to give you the best vantage point possible yeah oh look at that look how how cool that looks the, the mucky yucky yucky looking yuck yeah yeah that looks real nice 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 and a little bit up between his feet maybe oh yeah Well, I don't want to overdo that effect. So, all right. What do you think? Looks good. Yeah, I think so. All right. Let's uh, let's change some cameras. Okay. Hang on. A okay. So, there you have it. Um, that's muddy ground, and right now, it, it's easy for it to look good. It's wet. And it looks like mud, okay? So it's, it's really actually very easy for it to look good. It's going to be how will it look tomorrow when it says it's, it's fully dry. So um, first of all, lesson one, use brushes you want to throw away, okay? I don't even begin to know how to clean them, all right? And barely scratch the surface of this jar. It's a nice, big, healthy jar. And uh, um, there, we got that nice and sealed back up. Plenty to use on another project. I think that the uh, the seagrass, I believe is its official name, seagrass, I believe that that was uh, a really good touch for this. And it's just one of those effects that you want to be careful that you don't overdo it. And uh, now I'm just going to pick that up and hope that this doesn't stick to the paper towel too bad. Um, so anyhow, uh, I think it looks great. It went on very easily. The seagrass mixed in really nice and made a really mucky, yucky looking uh, mess that uh, is going to work great in dioramas. It looks really natural, and I, I think we might be on to something here. I think it might be really good. We're going to have to see how it looks tomorrow. So uh, rather than signing off, I'm going to make it all one video. We're going to go away, and uh, sometime tomorrow or the day after, we're going to come back and take a look at this. 
So, bim zala bim, time travel. Now. Okay. Hey everybody, I see you made it and survived your time travel. Uh, an instantaneous, painless moment for you. But for me, wanting to see this, it's been just painful. I've left, left this thing all night long. I haven't come down and cheated. You and I are seeing this together for the very first time, okay? Now, granted, I've been up here for a few seconds to set up the cameras, but really, I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it. We're seeing it together. So let's take a look at AK Interactive's Muddy Ground. All right, so taking a close look at it, uh, my, my first thing is disappointment. And uh, I'll, I'll explain. I thought it would remain wet looking. Now, that's not really going to be a big challenge if that's what I want to do with it. It's going to be pretty easy to, to uh, make it wet looking. Um, but I thought it would remain wet looking, and it didn't. Um, it, it dried, it almost looks like, uh, I want to say like damp clay type mud, okay? Not wet, not dry, but kind of a clayish looking type effect. Now, I, I'll tell you, it looks amazing, okay? It really does. In my book, it looks amazing. And, uh, I like the way the sawgrass is working. Um, that's popping out there pretty cool. Uh, some of it you can see kind of buried into the mud. Some of it is poking out. And I really love the effect that the seagrass. God, why can I not get that right? Seagrass, seagrass, seagrass. Say that three times fast. All right. I'm such an idiot. Seagrass. Okay, seagrass. I love the way the seagrass is working in here. I think that was a nice touch. And when I add the blood in here, it's going to look amazing. But now I'm going to be torn with a decision. Do I try to make this wetter looking, like it's fresh, soupy mud? Or do I leave it looking like this? Because it looks pretty fabulous like this. Now, the only thing I'm thinking I might want to do is I might want to spatter some on the horse's legs, especially in his hind quarter. Um, but we're going to wait and see on that. Okay, now, <clears throat> next thing I want to do is I want to touch it. This has not been, the jar said 24 hours to fully cure. Um, this has been more like 18 or 19 hours, but it, if it's not cured by now, there's, there's a problem. So I'm going to touch it here and uh, make sure you can see where I'm going to do this, okay? And I'm just going to be real gentle at first. All right, it is dry and firm. You can see there's nothing on my finger here. All right, so it dried fantastic. And, and even even though I said I, I was disappointed up front, and, and I was because it doesn't look wet, it looks amazing. It really, really does. It looks like he's been trudging through this kind of muddy, kind of dry clay, you know, sinks in, and it, it, it just it, it really looks amazing. And so I may leave it just like this. And the way the, the skull fragments are sticking up out of it and whatnot, um, I think maybe I want to give them a little more of a mud look to them. I don't know what I want to do there, but I'm, I'm worried that they're popping out a little bit too much. Um, but I think it looks really, really amazing. Okay, so here, let me get the product out, okay? It's their product I'm talking about. I might as well share it with you. Okay, so this is AK Interactive's Terrains Diorama Series Muddy Ground Acrylic. And so what do I think? Okay, well, I'll tell you what I think. First of all, they give you a really nice big container of it so you don't have to scrimp and uh, you know cheat and, and worry about running out. You're going to have plenty to do whatever it is that you're trying to do. Um, when you open the jar, it looks like muddy ground. It's got the grit already in it. Um, it just it looks fantastic. 
uh, it goes on really easily. I was worried that maybe it would have uh, an issue sticking down, but it, it doesn't. It just blops on, goes anywhere you want, but it's it's firm enough and resilient enough that you can use, like you saw me do with a toothpick to get into detail areas. So it's uh, uh, easy to apply. Um, and the end result is a nice, hard finish. It looks amazing. It takes add-ons like little pieces of gravel you might want to put in there or the seagrass or whatever else you might want to do. Uh, it took that without a, a problem, makes it look fantastic. So um, ultimately, this is really close to what I had in my head of what I was trying to go for. Um, so I, I, I have to say I'm very, very, very pleased with it. I, <coughs> I guess... <coughs> I guess it's probably better that it dries like this rather than wet because here I can get two effects out of it. I can keep it like this or I can easily apply like a, a liquid, like a water coat, one of AK's waters. I don't know if I have that nearby. I don't see it out. It's put away somewhere. But you can apply a, a water coating over the top of this to give it that wet look back if, if that's what you're going for. So you know, ultimately you can get two looks out of one product. So this is probably the better way to go uh, having looked at it. But it just kind of isn't what I expected when I came up here. Alright, if you like this video, please click subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Ask any questions or comments you might have. I really do try to... Uh, answer any questions and if you make a comment I always try and at least say hello. Alright, this has been Paul from Fat Guy Productions. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Until next time, have an amazing day and be good.